Hey guys, welcome back to Pwns TV, and today I have a little challenge for us. Someone challenged me to make a deck that could win without any Pokemon using moves that do damage. And when someone told me that, this deck instantly came to mind. <clears throat> this is the Shuckle GX deck. We've got Pokemon in here like Cacnea. We're not actually going to use his attack, we just have him in here for the effect where if you kill him, or hit him, you get poisoned. We've got our Carnivine. We're not using Crunch, we're only using Flick Poison. Switch the Pokemon, and the new active becomes poisoned. We've got our Shuckle. Doesn't actually do damage, just poisons them, and then does three damage counters instead of one. Poison Sting, again, does not do damage, only poisons them. And our Sviper, we're not actually going to be using him as our active. He is simply there for that passive ability on the bench. Then we've got our Oranguru and our Tapalele because I have them in every deck. They are just so useful. The basis of this deck is going to be poison your opponent, keep them from hitting you. So to do that, we have our Crushing Hammers. We get to discard energies, enhanced hammers, more discarding energies. Field blowers, discard stadiums and items. We've got our nest balls for getting our survivors and our shuckles out. We've got pal pad to recycle our supporters. We've got these Pokemon catchers so that if he has something good out, we can switch it. We've got our switches, our ultra balls, our life forest. This is to keep our shuckle alive. With Life Forest on the field, he has to swing for 110 plus twice in a row to kill the Shuckle. And we've got three of them in here. So hopefully, we should be able to withstand a lot. We've got our normal draw supporters. And then I have two XP shares, just in case, because we are not running a lot of energies. If you see here, we only have 10 energies in the deck. Mostly because every Pokemon in here only requires one energy to use their attack. We're going to go into Standard. Standard is a little scary now because we've got so many people running those new team-up cards, but I feel like that is the perfect opportunity to test this deck out because if our Shuckle deck can beat team-up cards, they can beat pretty much anything. This is a deck that is solely based on going second. So we would not like to go first. <clears throat> I enjoy running decks that go second. Decks that go second tend to make your opponent rage quit. So right off the bat, we have started with our Shuckle and our Sviper. This means that all I have to do is gain one energy into the hand and we can now swing for a 40 poison that'll tick on both his turn and my turn. On a Pokemon that only has 120 HP, he's I'm going to end, he's going to end, and all I have to do is end my turn and it'll kill it. So he put out Devouring Field, which makes me think he's running a Dragon deck? Oh, we're a Dark deck. Alright, so here's our chance. We want to pull that energy, so we're going to want to, if we do that, we don't need to draw three, so yeah. We'll Cynthia right off the bat to try to get that energy, because it is the most important that we get that energy. We'll throw that on him, and we're going to throw that Cacne out just in case something happens to the Shuckle. We still want our opponent to be poisoned. So we're going to go ahead and triple poison. He's going to get hit for 40 damage. <clears throat> so now he either needs to burn a switch, put a double energy out to retreat, or he's sacrificing the Oranguru. He Cynthia, so maybe he can pull a switch. This is definitely going to be a... What is it? A Woobat? There's Noibat. Woobat. 
Is Woot Bat? No. Noi Bat and Noi Burn? Not 100% sure on that one. There's really nothing for us to use our energies on right now, so I'll just draw two. Alright. Got another Gizma. So. That'll be it. We'll end our turn. And that'll kill him. We get our first prize card. Our life forest. That is great. Now, even if he does damage us, we can heal it. He has a choice band on, so he will be hitting for 40. So he's going to Guzma into our Surviper. I don't think he can kill the Surviper, though. So we're going to go out and throw the Life Forest. And then we're going to go ahead and Guzma our own. And we're definitely picking that Wubat. Or the Noibat. And we'll triple poison him. That will force him to retreat him th this turn. He has to retreat him or he loses the Noibat that he put all of his energies on. So chances are he's going to retreat it. <clears throat> yep. Now what he doesn't know is we have another Guzma. And triple poison again. That'll kill it. That'll give us our second prize card. Ultra Ball. Great. Now we can get another Surviper. Ooh, Crushing Hammer. He's going to start needing to use that agility. If he does not start using that agility, then he is in trouble. And he needs to get heads when he pulls the agility. Alright, so he does evolve into Noivern. And he can swing. Your opponent cannot play any item cards from their hand, so... That's okay. I don't really need to. Because Shuckle has another effect. He's immune to all damage against Pokemon that have two or fewer energy on them. So that 50 didn't do anything. So we'll go ahead and throw that energy on him. And wait, <gasps> we can't use items. So that kind of foiled our plan of getting another survivor, but we're good because it'll only take about two, maybe three turns to kill the Noivern. So he's going to go grab a second Noivern because he realizes he's going to need a backup. And I'm interested in seeing if he stacks the Noivern on the field or if he knows that the Noivern on the field is going to die and he's going to start stacking the second one. Let's see what he does. He's going to stack the active one. Alright. So he can now do damage to me. It's going to do 120. And your opponent cannot play any special energy cards from their hand next turn. I don't have any special energy, so he might go ahead and use the 50 again. He did. Just to keep me from using items. So because I can't use any items right now, I'm going to use the Tapu Lele to grab Sightseer. At this point, we don't need the Wurmples anymore. Wurmples are simply in here as a basic Pokemon to pull on turn one. It doesn't seem like he's using any special energies, so I'll throw away the Enhanced Hammer. XP Share, I don't really have anyone to go back on, but we have Life Forest out, so it doesn't matter. And then I'll throw away the Rescue Stretcher and the Ultra Ball. Well, that kind of sucked. I expected to get something good. Alright, so we'll heal 60 damage, and then we will end our turn. So now if he uses the 80 again, chances are he's going to go for the 150. And that'll take me out actually. Alright, so if he does swing for the 150, that will take me out. Which he does. Now we're gonna have to pick up one of our backups. We're gonna throw out the Cacnea, because right now we don't really have a choice. 
All right, so we tried getting rid of an energy, didn't work. Let's try to get rid of an energy, didn't work. But what we can do is we can grab another Seviper, put it on the bench. We can grab our second Shuckle. We can go ahead and pal pad a Cynthia and a Gizma into our deck. And then we can go ahead and shuffle five. We'll throw an energy onto Shuckle. And since we already know Cagnia is going to die, we'll throw out that second Shuckle just in case. We'll end our turn. And that'll give us two prize cards. We got our third Crushing Hammer. Now the thing about this deck is if he was smart, he would have been stacking up this second Noivern, and he might realize it now is that he should stack up the Noiverns equally and then keep retreating them into each other. These Noiverns have no retreat cost. So if they take 40 damage, he can retreat to the next one. And that one takes 40 damage. He retreats to the next one. And by then, he should have three energy on one of them. And he can swing. Then they, I would go. I'd poison him again. He'd take it. And then on his turn, he could retreat it to the next one. So he'd get almost triple the time out of both of these instead of, you know, just taking all the damage on one. And then he has to put out his second one with almost, like with no energies on it. And then he's got to stack up three turns of energies. All right, so he's going to go ahead and take that 30. I'll go ahead and heal the 50 off of him. Throw that energy on. I can't use items, so I'll just go ahead and Cynthia 6. All right, so next turn when he chooses to do the Sonic Volume and kill... I'll throw out that second Sviper, or the third Sviper, sorry. Alright, so he uses the Sonic Volume to take out Cacnea. This is when we'll throw in our Shuckle. Now we'll throw out our third Sviper. If I Guzmud right now, we could triple poison him. And then that would be his active with... Yeah, I think we'll do that. We're gonna Guzma. Now he has an active Noibat with no energy on it. And we'll triple poison it. Alright, so he got rid of the Life Forest. So chances are he's going to swing with the Sonic Volume after he switches out. Oh, he's not going to switch out. He's just going to throw that out and use Sonic Volume. I'm going to have to switch. So we're going to retreat into him. Well, Lily, just grab something. And then we'll triple poison him. So now he's forced to retreat. If he doesn't retreat, he loses that Noivern. He's going to evolve to that Noivern and then probably retreat to it just to save face. He hasn't been abusing the zero retreat cost. Yeah. Something makes me think he doesn't even know his Noiverns have zero retreat cost. But, there you go. We have won our first game with a deck that does not attack with any damaging moves. To prove that that is not a fluke, we're going into a second game. Looks like we are going against the Garchomp deck, which 
may not be good for us because some Garchomp decks like to go second, but he is going to go first, so we do have this advantage now. We got kind of unlucky here. We're forced into our Sviper on the start. It's not what we want with this deck. But a bad start does not mean a bad game. So what do we got? We got a beacon, which is actually confusing because with Vulpix, you kind of want to go second with Vulpix. Usually if you're running a low in Vulpix, you want to go second so that you can use that beacon. If you go first, you risk the chance of your opponent being able to attack first and killing a low health Pokemon before you can even get that off. He's running a Lycanroc deck. I had to fight one of these yesterday. It was kind of interesting. Alright, so we'll Crushing Hammer first. We succeeded. I'm going to want to Pokemon Catcher. Switch into Lycanroc. And at this point, I'm going to have to Ultra Ball to get our Uniguru. That is the only thing that's going to get us anywhere at this point. Ah, uh, you know what? I could have just Oreo. Yeah, I could have top of Lailade and just got a Lily. Oh well. You know what? We're good. We got exactly what we needed. Triple poison. Chances are he's going to have a Lycan Rock in his hand, so he's going to be able to get rid of that poison with the evolution. Alright, so he's getting a Deancy. He's evolving to Alolan Ninetales. He gets to grab two items, so chances are he's going to grab an Ultra Ball, maybe, to force the Lycan Rock evolution to save the Rock Ruff. And the second item. Maybe a switch, yeah. So he's going to force the Lycanroc evolution, and then he'll probably switch to Ninetales. And it's taken him a while. No, Buzzwall? He's going to give up the Lycanroc. That's surprising, actually. So he's going to give up the Lycanroc. to go for Buzzwall, and he's going to swing for Jet Punch to try to damage my Sviper. Oh, he got it anyway, so now he is going to be able to switch into Sviper, which means that he'll hit the Sviper for 50? No. Oh, Oranguru, he one-shots it. Sweet. No. He doesn't one-shot it yet. All right, um, do I put out Worm Pull to draw three, or do I risk it on draw two? I don't want to waste my bench space, so I think I'm going to risk it on two. That'll do it. But Cynthia. So we're going to go ahead and Carnivine, put an energy on him, and we will Nest Ball another Sviper. We're going to give up the Oranguru. I'll let him have a prize card for it, so that we can go ahead and put our Carnivine out. Yeah, we'll put our Carnivine out. And then we will flick poison the lichen rock. He didn't put the beast po or the beast energy out. I guess he's saving the beast energy for in case I triple poison him. 
He wants to save that beast energy until he finds out that the Buzzwolf does not have any risk of dying. I think we're going to risk it on the Flick Poison. Ah. <clears throat> Alright, we got an S-Ball. Throughout our third Surviper. I'll just shuffle the Oranguru back into the hand. Or, the deck, rather. We're going to Cynthia try to grab that fourth Surviper. Yep. There's our fourth and final Surviper on the bench. I'm going to save this for the Beast Energy. But we can go ahead and get rid of... I guess I'll get rid of that one. Let's go ahead and flick poison the Lycan Rock. And that will smack for 50. He has another Lycan Rock in the deck, which means he has another Rock Rough. He is expecting us to probably kill this Rock Rough. Yep. You know what? I'm going to bait the Beast Energy. If he beast energies, he can one-shot the Carnivine. Then I'll discard it off of him and hit him with the triple poison. Alright. So it did work. So we can go ahead and discard that. The Lily, draw three. Then I'm going to take our Carnivine back to the hand. Because he is such a useful card. We'll throw that on him. And then we're going to hit him with that triple poison. That'll bump it up to 70. So now he has to kill or retreat. And if he kills, he still dies. Alright, so he's going to switch. He's going to switch to... The Vulpix. We, oh, he surrendered. Okay. So, two duels in a row. We don't use attacks that damage. And we're winning. Like I said, this is a deck that just got to poison them. And then control with the items. Those... The hammers, the crushing hammers, the enhanced hammers, the Pokemon catchers. You can pretty much control your opponent's field from your hand. That's going to be all for this episode. If you guys have any challenges for me that you want me to try, again, don't make them anything crazy like... You're only allowed to use a Magikarp that doesn't have any damaging attacks. But like, a, a plausible one. Then let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try it out sometime and maybe you'll be able to see it in a video.